Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> Guess where I am? <laughs> I'm still Hobby Lobby in Sevierville. Hmm. My car, I, I can't get it to start. I So, oh God, I have to have it towed back to Dave's house. At my first... Uh, person said $300. I almost lost my mind. Uh, but I said, no, not going to lose my mind yet. Not going to lose my mind yet. Uh, so I thought about it and thought, it, and then I said, okay, I'll do it. You know, what else am I going to do? Uh, you know, no one can fix it until the 16th. I called another dealer and their book solid for two weeks. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, so I went ahead and called um, called the insurance company and said, okay, I need the tow. I'm gonna have to eat it, you know. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, everything's falling apart for some reason, I don't know. Awesome. I don't know how far did we get. I don't I don't even remember. I dropped my phone. I chipped my phone. I had no idea this was purple. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I thought it was black. But in the sun it's purple. Huh. How cute. Now I got a big old scratch on it. Son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Okay, I thought that was a tow truck calling me, but it wasn't. It was someone trying to sell me insurance like Humana. But anyway, so I'm sitting here waiting on the tow truck. And, um... Oh, oh, okay, okay. It was $300, and they will only reimburse you a hundred. So I said, shut up. I have about had it with you. Now, don't start with me. Um, so that means I, I would eat about $200. Then I have to pay for a towing to Morristown to get the car repaired but I think I got something worked out on that deal um but this guy that's coming to get me he said uh that it would it would only cost between 80 and 100 dollars so okay so I said yeah come and get me please Do it. Don't. Don't. Get, don't. <laughs> oh dear. So that's that's what's going on today so far. Uh, Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. I was waiting for the policeman to make his rounds. I never saw him again. I guess after the place closes down, they just don't even bother. <laughs> so, I was trying to stay awake and I fell asleep. And I woke up at 4 o'clock and I thought, well, okay, I'm going to get started on this first sign of light that I can see the difference between the sky and the trees I'm going to start on 
uh, getting the van started, you know. But I have tried and tried and tried since 4 o'clock this morning to, to do it. And I'm, I'm tired and I'm hot. So I thought, I'll go ahead and do it. So, um, at least it didn't cost me 300 Woohoo! <laughs> it probably will to Morristown, so I got to figure out how to get this baby started, okay? Got to get got to get it started somehow and i even asked the, the chrysler dealer i said well can i jump it or anything can you know uh is that possible he says well i'll tell you the truth i don't even know great okay um so who knows who knows So, I'm going to get off the phone right now, and because uh, I don't want to miss a call from the tow truck driver, and um, so I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, Sammy, what are we doing? We're waiting on the tow truck, waiting on the tow truck, waiting on the tow truck, uh, 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 waiting on the tow truck. No, I'm a tow truck. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Shut up. Do it anyway. Yeah, do a drink. Calm down. day different day <laughs> um yeah um apparently when i t went to turn the camera around and tell you what was the pain in my ass uh it 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 didn't work so i'll tell you now it was buddy's barbecue right apart uh, across the parking lot and i could smell that barbecue oh my god it was horrible, <laughs> but I survived it. I survived it. So, um, yeah, we got the tow truck. He came right out. It didn't cost me the 300 like originally uh, was quoted. It cost $100, and I will be get able to get that back. Uh, as soon as I take the receipt over to State Farm. So that's a win. So I might be able to do that today if when Dave takes me out. So I'm like stranded. I, I hate this. hate this. I'm like stranded. And I can't go anywhere. But I'm getting, I'm getting some crochet done. Woohoo! It's, it's a loose wind situation. <laughs> Um, so, can't get my front windows down, so I have to have some air in here, so what did I come up with? I opened my sliding door, and, um, I'll see if I can turn this. Okay. <sighs> Try this again. Never mind the, uh... Never mind the towel here. I got that as a precaution in case any rain comes in. But anyway, I got this sheet. It's a fitted sheet that I don't use. So what I do, I cut it in half, took the um, elastic out, 
and then I had half of a, a door screen, a regular house door screen. You know those kind that 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 the magnets uh, snap together in case you don't have a screen door. So what I did was I shut the shut the um, screen in my front door. Okay. And then I had the magnets up here, so I magnet, I magnetized it up there, so it would stay on. And then uh, for any holes like that, like that there, I just put the sheet in, and like that, just, you know, cover up the holes so I can have air and be bug free. Woohoo! <laughs> I was excited about that. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, yep, I'm back. Yay! So, uh, it was a beautiful night last night. I had to actually get a blanket out. That was wonderful. It was a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing. And it's been raining this morning. So I've been here snuggled up with Sammy uh, in the blanket and letting the breeze come in. A little sprinkle of rain in here. That's why I have the towel. Um, and uh, But it's just been so nice. After two days of heat, like, I know, it's silly. 86, it shouldn't be that bad, right? Uh, but 86, 87 degrees. Uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, yeah. So, but hey, listen, when you're in van life, you have to be flexible, okay? If you're too rigid or, or you know, get freaked out um, if things don't go perfectly like you planned, you're not going to make it here. Uh, trust me, you you will not make it. So you have to be flexible. You have to be ready for anything to happen. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry. But you just have to be, you know, flexible. And uh, uh -huh. this is a good coping lesson. I am I am thrilled to death though that I wasn't out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I was thrilled about that. I would have survived, but, uh, you know, I'm glad I had the comfort of my, um, my brother and my friends. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, let's see what I, I think that's about it for the video. I'm fine. We made it through the night. The cops weren't there. Uh -huh. I was amazed. I'm thinking, why didn't uh, you make your rounds? I don't know. I don't know. But it was fine. There was a car parked right behind me. Um, and then, actually, there were two cars parked right behind me uh, all night long. Uh, it was like, okay. Uh, so, um, yeah. So I'm going to go for now, and um, I just want you guys to know, whoa, lift my leg, lift my leg. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Tried his diapers on today, but they were too little. I was going to take them in the house and, and see if they worked. But they were for a, a little bitty dog, so... <laughs> I would have had to put two on him, so I don't think he'd approve of that. So, but I am going to get a bigger size. Yeah, he's ready to go out and play as soon as it stops spring. He didn't like to get. He doesn't like to get wet, people. If he's barking and I show this little green bottle. He went up to the front. <laughs> he doesn't like that at all. It's safe, Sammy. You can come back. Yeah, you can come back. <laughs>
we'll play it in a little bit, okay? All right, guys, I just want to let you know everything's fine. I do have a date to get the van fixed, and I am okay, all right? So don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm just fine, all right? Uh, so take it easy. Take the long way home.